Hey guys, Shay Ivy here from the Forge FPV. I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of how to flash your LaForge module with some new firmware. Uh, the process is pretty simple, but if you haven't uh, played around with any of the Arduino environment stuff before, um, you might want to pay a little bit of uh, more attention. Um, the process requires a uh, USB ISP programmer. Uh, I like to use the USB ASP. Um, version 2.0. It's a uh, pretty good decent little programmer. So it has a 10 pin cable coming out of it and then you'll need to get a uh, 6 pin adapter here. Um, this is what our uh, modules all carry is the 6 pin adapter uh, for programming. So um, one thing you'll notice is uh, I don't have any headers on your LaForge module and what I like to do is I just like to take these uh, six pin headers um, and uh, just press fit them in the uh, firmware flashing. Um, that way it's not a permanent feature on the module because you'll probably only have to do this once or twice ever. Um, but uh, so that's pretty much um, the programmer. Uh, next we'll look at the module. So on the module here, uh, if you look closely at these pins, um, there is a uh, circle around the ground pin. Um, it's this bottom left pin. And what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you get um, this uh, six pin header to line up correctly. So if you look here, there's ground. Um, what we'll do is we'll flip that over and now ground is going to be in that lower left corner. Um, so that's just lining up your pins and then like I said when I flash this I'll be actually just doing a, uh, a press fit maneuver kind of like this um, and that's usually good enough uh, if you want you can solder them in but you know like I said you probably won't be doing this very often okay so where do we get the firmware uh, on my website there is a page dedicated to firmware upgrades um, uh, there's a few instructions on uh, the tools you'll need. Um, so one of those things uh, that's mandatory is the Arduino Studio uh, version 1.6 or greater. And then, um, you know, the programmer, the, the USB programmer. So um, once you have those two things, the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Um, inside the downloads uh, section, if you um, download these uh, zip files, each one has its own readme and what that looks like. If we take a look, see. Um, let's just go to the viewer here. So inside the readme, we've got uh, those same requirements that I mentioned on the uh, website. Um, and then two instruction sets, one for if you're on a Mac and then one for if you're on Windows. Um, these all assume that you installed uh, the Arduino Studio in the base direct or the default directory. If not, um, you'll just have to modify uh, the first first part of these um, lines. Um, so since I'm on a Mac, all it really is is just a matter of uh, copying um, this command for Mac. So if we copy that, and then open up our terminal and paste it in. Um, we're pretty much ready for the uh, flashing process. So let me just plug in the programmer. Um, you should get a little LED on the programmer, just a red one letting you know that it's got power. Um, and then the next part's just lining up uh, the ground again, like I, I showed before. So you can see I'm just press fitting this in here and I'm getting power. Okay so from this point all you really got to do is hit enter and uh, it should begin the flashing process. As you can see there's a little progress bar letting you know that it's uploading. Um, takes probably around 8 to 18 seconds depending on your programmer and how it's set up. Um, 
But once it's done, uh, you've got the new firmware on the module and um, you don't really have to do much else. Um, one thing I'll note is that uh, you will have to remove the module uh, entirely from uh, your goggles. You don't want it to be plugged into anything, including the, um, the diversity module. Uh, that's just to reduce uh, the current draw on the programmer itself um, and uh, uh, just makes it a little easier to not have to mess around with your goggles and, um, and whatnot. So uh, that's pretty much the flash screen process. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I'll see if I can answer them. All right, thanks.